In this video, we will discover all the medical facts about herpes zoster, also called shingles. In the beginning, we must know how herpes zoster or shingles happens. Herpes zoster is a viral infection caused by reactivation of the varicella zoster virus, the same virus that causes varicella or chickenpox. Varicella or chickenpox is a primary herpes zoster virus infection. After the infection clears up, the virus stays dormant in the dorsal root ganglia, where it can later reactivate and spread via nerve pathways to the skin, where it results in the uncomfortable rash known as herpes zoster. Although the causes of the herpes zoster virus reactivation are not fully known, it appears that the greatest risk factor for this process of reactivation is a decline in immunity. Therefore, aging and chronic illnesses including cancer, HIV, renal or hepatic insufficiency, and the use of immunosuppressive drugs like steroids and chemotherapy medicines are risk factors for herpes zoster. Now we will talk about herpes zoster symptoms. The first symptom is frequently a burning pain that runs along a particular region of skin called a dermatum and typically affects one side of the body. This could happen to the face, back, chest, or abdomen. A red rash often follows the pain, and it can appear dark pink, dark brown or purplish, according to the skin tone. This rash is characterized by being painful and itchy. The rash develops into clusters of vesicles, which continue to form over three to five days, and they usually heal in two to four weeks. The herpes zoster virus can spread from person to person. Patients with lesions that are still active can infect others with varicella zoster and give chickenpox to those who have never had varicella or received the varicella vaccine. These persons would be susceptible to developing herpes zoster after the varicella had cleared up. Through direct contact with vesicular fluid, active herpes lesions are contagious until they dry out and crust over. Patients should cover their lesions until they are dry and crusty, if they have active lesions. The most common complication of herpes zoster is post-herpetic neuralgia, which is a pain that persists in the area where the rash once was for more than three months after rash onset. This condition could last for months or even years. Other less common complications include ophthalmic involvement, bacterial superinfection of the lesions, cranial and peripheral nerve palsies, and visceral involvement. Now let us talk about how to treat this illness. Herpes zoster treatment can help you avoid problems and hasten your recovery. The ideal period for treatment is 72 hours after the onset of symptoms. The medications prescribed to treat herpes zoster include antiviral drug as acyclovir, anti-inflammatory agent as ibuprofen to decrease pain and swelling, antihistaminic drug to decrease itching, and vitamin B complex to help reduce the risk of post-herpetic neuralgia.
In the end, if you liked this video, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell button to receive all new updates. Goodbye.